I'm Lisa Vicky and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you find this video informational and enjoyable. So the main goal of my channel is to try and introduce science in South Africa, especially science for people of color, for women of color, just for South Africans in general. So if that idea or that ideology is interesting to you, please subscribe to this channel and I'll appreciate it so much. As I said in my previous video, I really want to get to 50 subscribers by the end of this year and I still have my wall of subscribers but now I replace them with pic it used to be pictures but now it's James so I thought it could be like if it grew, hopefully, if it grew it looked like kind of cuter being James but I've realized now that you can barely see the James so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it hopefully as the years go by it look a bit cuter but yeah if you'd like to be part of my wall of subscribers with my little James there there are they I think you only can see one of them but there are three James there but if you'd like to be part of my wall of subscribers please subscribe to this channel and I really appreciate it so today's video I'm gonna talk about your first year of University of Stellenbosch when it comes to human life sciences and of course I'll be talking about what curriculums and what streams to be the best for you to get into medicine guys okay I know that like a lot of people want this information and I'm glad to give it honestly I think that the more information you have when you get into university the more empowered you are the more that you know what your future is going to be the more relaxed you're going to be when you're in that environment so I'm gladly will do all the human life to medicine videos as you want but honestly honestly I really want to kind of divert from those a bit and talk about more science and kind of medical science and like stuff surrounding that and I really hope that you still stick around for that um, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'll make them fun don't worry I'll make them fun and light and, and, and fun and whatever but I kind of want to do more of that so again I have an open door policy on this channel if you want any information about human life sciences please let me know in the comments and I will give them to you gladly but I kind of want to divert from that just a titsy bit just like tiny bit especially during the December season where I can do so much content involving like summer and skincare and just all that stuff so yeah um if you would still want to stick around after that <laughs> that would be great but honestly that's up to you but again open door policy if you want any information about human life sciences comment down below and again if you don't feel comfortable commenting down below you can dm me on my instagram um i will link my instagram link down below and i will answer your questions fully heartedly all the love in my heart before i make this video too long because i know no one got time to listen to a 20 minute video i'm just gonna get right into it and just talk about the different streams and different curriculums and what do they mean and what things will be best for you for medicine so first year <laughs> First year is a great year, obviously, because you're out of high school, you're in university, you're gonna job, you're gonna party, you're gonna, yeah. But <laughs> you have to be very careful about the curriculums and the streams that you choose because they can actually determine what you can do post grad and even if you wanna transfer to another degree, what they can do to allow you for the amount, the right credits you need to for a transfer. But before we talk about curriculums, obviously, we have to talk about streams. So, the University of Stellenbosch has two streams of human life science that they provide one is human life sciences with psychology the other one is human life sciences with biology now with psychology obviously is the same kind of basic modules as the uh, with biology kids but of course with the addition of psychology personally I'm at the thinking of that you choose a stream that will benefit you at the long term if you're a person who thinks that psychology may be something that they want to do later on but are not sure about so you're kind of dabbling with more of like sciences as well then with psychology would be a very good option for you with psychology you also kind of get a broader access to the university in terms of that you also be part of the humanities department not just the science faculty so you kind of have a broader stroke or broader accessibility to like the different parts of the schools that perhaps people who are solely focused on science may not have also interesting enough if you're thinking of going to medicine outside of south africa like the united states having some sort of humanities is actually a benefit because it's one of the 
things that they look for in their candidates for medical school so they usually like people who have some sort of humanities like english literature psychology art so if you have one of those kind of things and you think about doing something outside of south africa like medicine outside south africa having with psychology can be beneficial the second stream is the stream that i did which is human life sciences with biology now this stream is obviously very much more very much like biology based of course and in this kind of stream we kind of have a very wider experiences of biology so if you do with psychology you kind of are dabbling more in the terms of perhaps genetics and biochemistry and physiology part of but bi of biology which are also can be easily linked to um psychology when you do human life sciences with biology you're also exposed to things like microbiology virology pathology which is like an another huge branch of biology so you can have like a wider variety of biology if you just choose with biology i would recommend this if you're thinking of doing something that involves pathology biology um biochemistry physiology um those um this stream is kind of helpful for th those kind of students so those are your streams you've chosen the stream that you think will be beneficial for you so now what so with that then you have to choose the right curriculum within that stream so with psychology actually there's only one curriculum that's available with for you so you don't have to really choose anything there but if you choose with biology there are two curriculums that you have to choose from both of these curriculums have the same core subjects so those would be biology of course chemistry some form of physics some form of maths and science with context now the importance of choosing the right curriculum comes with your biology choices as well as your mathematics and physics choices so if you look at biology if you choose stream one sorry if you choose curriculum one with curriculum one you have to do all three biology subjects that are, are available to you in first year so those are biology one to four biology 144 and biology 154 these biology subjects are like as i said before very overall biology subjects so not just doing things like involving physiology or genetics or biochemistry you also go into microbiology and evolution and zoology and like all kinds of biologies but to be fair all biology courses in first year are going to be very broad because all of the kids who are under the umbrella of biological sciences are doing the exact same first year modules so of course topics like zoology um botany evolution geology will be taught to you regardless of what kind of biology you choose but they're very in a degree of what they focus on so some of them focus more on perhaps the genetics or biochemistry aspect focus more on the kind of the biochemistry um physiology genetics aspects of it and some of them focus more on the microbiology pathology part of it so yeah so those are also terms you have to think about with curriculum one you have to do all three biology modules but if you do curriculum two you have to choose between two um, biology modules in your second semester your first semester there's only one available one so you have to do that one but your second semester you have to choose between biology 154 and biology 144 so 144 is one that focuses more on microbiology so things like viruses bacteria fungi are highly more focused on in this type of biology so if you're a person who's thinking of going to something in microbiology or like perhaps forensics or perhaps um biology pathology um doing biology 144 is the right thing for you to do however biology 154 focuses more on biochemistry and genetics a lot of time in first year so if you're thinking of going to biochemistry physiology genetics a bit more in your later careers of university then i would suggest you do 154 now it comes to the second choices you need to think about when you're choosing the curriculums and those are the type of maths and physics you want to do the first curriculum they offer you maths bio and maths physics now you're like thinking um what the hell are those things they're basically teaching you maths and physics but in a biological context so like 
maths and physics are like all around us in nature and how we do things as humans are very based on physics like how you move your arms how your tendons pull how your eyes see those are physical those are physics pro, um, principles but in nature and in like biology so they highly focus on that and trying to like implement biological concepts in physics and maths compared to stream number two where if you choose it you're going to do pure maths and pure physics so you're basically going to do perhaps the more or less the same kind of maths and physics as they had to do with biology but it's pure maths and pure physics so it's like honestly i don't wouldn't it doesn't seem like it's fun <laughs> no offense to it but if you're a person who truly just loves maths and physics um regardless then no go ahead and do it for you and the other subjects are basically the same throughout so your chemistry are the same throughout them your science of the context are the same throughout throughout them obviously now the question is going to be which one will be the best for me for medicine and honestly I, it's it's up to you both of them can help you with medicine However, but comma, I would suggest doing bio, maths and biophysics just because, again, they're applying maths and physics but in a nature sense. So it's like if you want to understand kind of concepts of biology in maths and physics more, it will be more beneficial for you to be in maths bio, in maths bio and physics bio. Honestly, what I saw a lot in my first year is that kind of academic elitism if that's the right word where people kind of chose things that they thought would make them seem like they're smarter or they made them seem like they're smart so they chose the things that make them like oh i do pure maths or i do pure physics so that's why you know and it's like honestly it doesn't matter because at the end of the year <laughs> at the end of your degree you're both gonna say human life sciences with biology on your diploma or on your degree so it doesn't matter what type of maths or physics you do just do the things that you feel comfortable with um but yes again for me personally if i was someone thinking of going to medicine i would choose with biology just um the with biology options and i would choose the bio versions of maths and physics just because those seem to be the most um applicable to medicine after your degree hopefully this was a short informational video once again, I really hope that you use this platform or you use me as a guide for how to survive human life sciences. I honestly wish that I had things like this when I was starting university because human life sciences, I don't think, again, it's something that South African creators talk about a lot. And I would really love to be a helpful helping hand. So um, let me know if there's any more information you would like to know about human life sciences and I will gladly provide it to you. But regardless of that, I hope you have a good day. I hope you stay blessed and warm or not warm, cool during the summer, winter, spring season. Have a great day. Bye.